just kept walking and like I didn't like look where I was going. And then I made a right turn and then I made a left turn and then I made a right turn and then I was like, where am I? In two thousand and five, during one of the school holidays, my or maybe it was two thousand and four. So in 2004 or 2005, during one of the school holidays, my family went on a vacation to a small town on the coastline. And this was a time when I had just made my new friends. When I left my old group of friends, I had made my new group of friends. And I was still very worried that they didn't were going to think that I wasn't worthy to be a part of their group and they were going to like say buzz off loser and so I was constantly self-conscious self-conscious and constantly worried I've got to make sure that I'm constantly there being funny you know sharing stories and being a good person so that they'll see how valuable a friend I am and so that that idea was constantly in the back of my mind saying if you allow the ball to roll for so long they will realize you're a, you're a loser and they'll tell you to buzz off and so I wanted, and I had just created a Facebook account, and all I wanted to do was just, and, and I created a new email address for the first time. And so all I could think of was just sending them interesting, funny stuff so that they'll like me. Or to, you know, regenerate their like of me, you know. And so I had that internet withdrawal thing where I had to spend three or four days without internet and I just was so worried. I was thinking, I'm off the grid. They, they're, you know, who knows what they're thinking of me right now. And it wasn't until I, I walked around town and then I found an internet cafe, which gave you 10 minutes of internet for a dollar. And then, so I paid the money, I got onto the internet, and I suddenly realized that my email and internet was hadn't you know, was basically the same as that I, as I'd left it. Nothing amazing had happened in my absence, and I hadn't received any bad news or good news. It was just the way things are. And so all I had to do was just send a couple of emails to update people, and that was it. And so when so when you're younger and you're less sure of yourself those negative thoughts, those paranoias can really play on your mind. And now, when you're an adult, when you actually know that your friends aren't just gonna leave you on a whim, when you have a clear sense of who you are as a person and what you believe in, and you realize that the worst is not gonna happen, that your paranoia is just irration irrational, now, I can go for days without the internet, without even the slightest worry. Yeah, whatever. I don't even have to worry at all, because I don't even have friends. <laughs>